hello and welcome to a new video so in, in the last video I had shown you how to use arrays in Golang and in today's video we will look at slices in Go so slices look exactly like an array and you can do most of the array operation with slices arrays are very efficient and you will be using them a lot but they have some disadvantages too such as uh, you have to know the array size at compile time and array can be of a fixed size so that those are the disadvantages of arrays and so what slices are actually so slices are like a projection of arrays and slices are only a part of array that means they have an underlying array so let me show you that in the code so in here what we want, we want to do is if you remove the three dots here and make it as only the square and square brackets then this will be a slice so this is how you create a slice let me comment both of these lines and let me zoom in so that you can see clearly so slices are like this in which first you will have the open and close square brackets then you have data type like integer and then you can give your uh, values in a curly braces so this will go into the slice and when you go ahead and run this you can see we got 111 as a slice so i will show you two functions which you can use with the uh, slices first one is uh, len so inside this len will give arr1 and if you run this again we can see the length of the array is 3 that is correct so this was there in arrays also we can find out the length of the array but one more function we can use in this slices is that is capacity so that function you can give as instead of len you have to give cap so this will be a capacity of uh, your slice so let me print it out correctly and let's change it to printf because we have included a formatting string here and let's run this so here you can see that the capacity is 3 and the length is also 3 so in arrays we used ampersand symbol for showing the reference to original array and to avoid the creation of a copy of array so this was a symbol ampersand which we used that was acting as a reference but in slices we don't need to use that since slices are by default reference types so you don't need to use this ampersand because slices are behaving differently as compared to the arrays so what I will do, I will uncomment both of these lines. So we had array 2 in which we had stored array 1 and in array 2's zero, uh, zeroth index we had put 0 instead of 1. And if we go ahead and uh, print this, we can see the 0 is present in both of the arrays because this is a reference type it will automatically change the zeroth element of the array one also this you have to keep in mind so this is a speciality of slices as compared to arrays we don't need to give ampersand and all so this is a good thing and i have shown you this simple way of creating a slice by open and enclosing of uh, square brackets and to avoid the confusion we can make this as slice 1 so that you understand better 
and I will show different ways in which you can create slices. So what I will do, I will just remove these lines and we'll remove this one also or you can just comment them out and what we'll do, let's create instead of uh, yes one I will just keep it A and A will be of A will be a slice and it will have values from 1 to 10 so now we'll create one more slice it will have it will have a name as b and in this what we'll do we'll have a and we can use open and close square brackets and we'll have all elements to have all the elements printed out what we can do we can put colon in between the square brackets so this what this will do is will include all all the elements and if you go ahead and print both of them let's close this errors and you can see it is printing the whole slice from 1 to 10 now i will show you all the different ways in which you can get some particular values or a particular range of values from the slice so let's have one more slice c colon equals to let's say b and which values we want we'll have let's say from the third index element to all the elements so to have third element we can give three colon nothing so what this will do this will have values or elements from fourth element to the rest of the elements so the three is representing the index here so zero one two and three so it will include four till it will go to 10 so let's go ahead and print this out really quickly and here you can see it is printing 4 5 6 7 8 and 8 10 let me click uh, quickly make this as 9 and one more way we can do is we can include one more value in here so we'll have d slice and we'll have we'll include c slice and instead of going like this what we can do we can have everywhere a and we are having we are creating slices from the main base slice that is a and in this we'll give two values or we can give only one value so we'll have colon and then we can say six so what this will do this will start from the first index element to the sixth element uh, index element so that is from one till seven but it will not print seven because it is up to the sixth index element so it will only go till fifth index element it will not include the sixth one so the upper one was inclusive and the below one is exclusive so which means the upper one will have the third index element included while printing and uh, the next one d will have the sixth index element excluded so let's go ahead and run this before this we have to print also you can see it is printing from the first element to the sixth element 
that is fifth index element because index start from zero now what we can do we'll have one more slice we can have it as e colon equals to we can have base a as a main slice and we can give here what if you want if you want third index element till sixth index element so you can guess here what it will do so it will have values from the third index element to the fifth index element because it is excluding the sixth index element let's go ahead and uh, print this out and in here you can see it is taking only the four five six element that is because the index starts from third one that is zero one two three the third one is fourth four value and then fifth then sixth so it is going till fifth index element third fourth fifth that is correct and this is how you can um, create slices and these are the different ways in, in which you can create slices so what if you just edit the value of the base slice so for example if you if you give array at the uh, the slice the element at the position third if you want to change to so let's suppose 99 so what it will do 0 1 2 3 that the 4 the third index element is 4 will be converted to 90 so let's see what happens here in in here you can see after showing the slice e we are just adding the value 99 to the third index element but what happens is it goes till the base slice a and it converts all the four third index element of all the slices so this is due to the reference style of the slices and that's very nice and but you have to keep in mind that when you are working with slices um, if you change any slice and two slices are uh, related to one another then it will change the base slice also so you have to keep in mind and another one is if you have the slicing operation uh, which works with arrays also so these slicing operations are same for arrays also let me show you that fast so what we can do in the empty square brackets that is for the slices we can put three dots which will make them as arrays and if you go ahead and print this out you can see that it is printing the same way because the slicing operation works also with the arrays and in the next video i'll show you the built-in functions and the other stuff thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video